A 3D terrain is automatically generated in each project. This terrain is always rectangular and can be adjusted via its properties dialog. All terrain elements such as the terrain solid, height points, plots, beds and so on are created on the environment layer by default. To edit, you must first activate the environment layer in our project viewer. After that you can then select the terrain and open the properties dialog. Individual height points are usually used to model the terrain. These points deform the surface of the terrain solid and thus reproduce the terrain form of your property. It is important that in our 3D world we do not work with levels relative to normal zero. Depending on the situation, this would result in a 3D scene being many hundreds of meters high, or even more. Instead, we assume a value of zero on one side of the building. This can be the level at your entrance door, for example. From there you then set the height points with positive or negative values relative to the zero level, in order to create a slope in your terrain as an example. Height points should be entered in a 2D view. It can make sense to use 2D guidelines so that the points can be inserted more or less evenly. It is important that height points are not placed on the edges of the terrain, other terrain elements, or directly on the wall sides of a building. Height points inside the building also don't make sense. The software creates an even progression in the terrain surface between the height points. If necessary, add more height points to make the gradient more even. Since the terrain is always rectangular, you can add the outline of your actual property within this rectangle. The plot also offers the possibility to display a border in 3D views. In our view visibilities, terrain, plots and all other terrain elements can be made visible separately. 
If necessary, you can hide the terrain solid and leave only the plot with the terrain profile visible.